Okay, so we defeated Wispy Woods, so we're gonna head into the uh, aqueduct now. Doesn't look like an aqueduct at the beginning, but you'll find out why it's called that. <laughs> so what brand of Kirby enemy will we fight now? Actually, we'll be heading into uh, one of the GBA Castlevanias for this one, actually. Oh. But that's for later. Now we're introduced to Destructible Terrain, which we can just bust with our whip. Doesn't really do much, but here are the Undermoles, a boss from Castlevania The Adventure. Huh. They were the boss of Stage 2, where you fought like a million of them. As they jumped out of holes in the walls. In this game, they only have like one health. Oh, that's a creepy face. Oh yeah, by the way, eyes. So in this game, they just act like a... Uh... Flea men with larger hitboxes that are thus easier to kill. Uh, actually, they're more like rats, to be honest, because uh, their jumping pattern's a bit different than a flea man. Yeah, and they can be sneaky like that. Yeah, so you don't want to break everything, because it usually has traps in it. it reminds me of that uh, dick move in Castlevania Chronicles. Oh, by the way, don't jump down that hole, you have to take the rope. <laughs> or you die. Oh god. Yeah, this game is very old school in some of its ideas. Oh boy. This is why that uh, bone tower is there, because if he knocks you off, you die. <laughs> so, don't go down a screen unless you're climbing down something? Yes, actually. Hmm. Well, the climbing mechanics look a little better than they were in the Game Boy games. Little bit. Emphasis on little. So how do we- uh oh. I was gonna say, you can't crawl. Nope. I can just get on these boats. <laughs> these boat logs. And I see we have fishermen now. Yes, you can follow those logs all the way to the left, but that just leads to a wall and death. <laughs> Which you could say for a lot of things in this game, actually. I'm trying to be clever here. The game has none of it. <laughs> Your whip does not quite reach. Here we have our fishmen, which are literally only here to make you slow down for a second if you have the cross. And it looks like you could probably hit them with the whip. If you're probably, enough. but it's vaguely difficult. Emphasis on vague. <laughs> they don't really seem to spit fireballs, though, that much. And note, the game was attempting to protect me from my own stupidity here. Well, then again, that's what the bone pillars seem to be for. Yeah, I guess that's true. To be honest, I've played this before, but I don't remember a whole lot about it. You didn't get past stage two. All I remember is a few dickish jumps, and that's about it. Oh, so you must have played the rest of the game, then. Because it's all that. <laughs> Up to a certain <laughs> point. Yeah, just wait until we get to stage three. That's going to be so much fun for you, you won't even recognize it. Hmm. Oh boy. I'm going to take a guess. Does it involve chandeliers of any variety? Oh, that's a big spider. Yes. Note, I really should have taken the axe back there, but I thought I didn't need it. I'm sort of reminded of, uh... Lacard Chronicles, in a way. I mean, that game had a big spider, but it was a boss. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, this one, no, the spider's just a mini-boss. Hmm. And a uh, means of progression, since you need the silk out of it to uh, make a, a rope. Eh, another, another uh, nice little touch. God, is it? This Belmont's hands must be fucking disgusting after the end of this. <laughs> and this is in the realm of four sinks. They didn't have hand sanitizer back then. Yeah, I mean, he's just gonna stick his hands in the river and it's gonna turn, like, black and tarry. Sure they had hand sanitizer. You didn't call it hand sanitizer. You called it... Holy water. Yeah, it was the holy water. Yeah, it catches <laughs> fire and burns off the evil off your hands. You called it wine. That's a waste of perfectly good wine. Eh, if you have cheap wine. He's literally setting it on fire. I don't... I don't think a Belmont would okay. be that wasteful. So, what kind of... Oh. And... <laughs> um... He, want, he just wanted a high five, and we could not do that for him. Oh. 
the residents of this village, uh... They're not doing too well. Yeah. N not to mention all the owls that really want to give you a hug, but aren't made for it. More high fives. It's really great that that thing just pops out like, I'm gonna get you! Oh, damn it. And you're just slightly too far away for it to do anything to you. Okay, is every house in this village designed to have a water wheel? They're actually mobile, but uh, they're in park right now, so the wheels just spin. I see. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Are you spooked yet? <laughs> okay, that looked really odd for a moment. I thought the bottom of the level was bobbing up and down. It is, technically. That's the water. But it looks really odd. But well, it's using the same reflection effect that uh, Bloodlines did on the Genesis in order to make a water reflection. It's just oh yeah, uh, the uh, stage two, I think, in that game. Yeah, it reflects the uh, floor. But again, so it just redraws all the sprites again. That's also get, uh, the game that tried to imitate Mode Seven. Uh, do not remind me about the stage three boss. <laughs> that boss was awful. What do you mean by imitate Mode Seven? Um, you know the scaling and rotating where you get bosses in the background and things like that? They tried that for stage 3, except they also tried to do depth perception with it? They also tried tilting the tower you were supposed to climb, and edge detection was really awful as a result. Oof. Well, to be fair, it was the Tower of Pisa. If they didn't tilt it, that would be messed up. I don't think it tilts that much. So, kind of like the uh, Battletoads Tower, but not so good? Yeah, I guess that's a way of thinking of it. Now, you'd think that the knife would be the shittiest weapon you could bring with you. It's not. You actually want the knife for this, because otherwise this fight's going to get really hard really fast. <laughs> Uh-oh. Because it's you. Huh. And the knife you can duck. Every other attack you have, you can't. Ah. Uh, usually these types of games save the doppelganger boss for later. Well, that's just how you know this game is breaking the mold. So the other stage bosses are going to be really good then, huh? I'll take that as a no. Oh no, they're pretty good. I just like the fact that the water recedes, so the water was actually evil the entire time. Hmm. There's just some, like, random town downstream that's just getting murdered by random <laughs> copies of everyone there. Meanwhile, we're in Dracula's foyer. Dracula.